before I actually developed mental health issues, I had a really harmful mindset. I used to think that people with issues like anxiety or depression just needed to get over it. I thought that they were just being overly dramatic and that they just needed to think more positively and that would be the solution to their mental health problems. Obviously now I think a lot differently because I have experienced both anxiety and depression myself and I have to prioritize my mental health. I have to do the things on a daily basis that put me in a positive headspace because if I don't, I know what it's like to slide down that slippery slope of feeling like, like I'm a prisoner in my own mind, but that it's of my own making and feeling trapped like there's no way out. So I wanted to share the practices that I do on a regular basis, the things that have gotten me from being in a really dark place to being mostly happy and well-adjusted with very few panic attacks, almost no depression in my life now. It is night and day with what I used to be like versus who I am now. The first practice that I use to nourish my mental health on a regular basis is by far my absolute favorite and that is taking CBD oil. And that's why I was really excited that Premium Jane CBD decided to sponsor this video because in my opinion they have some of the best CBD oils on the market. The thing I love most about the Premium Jane CBD oils is that they are really fast acting. The fastest that I've tried, they usually kick in in about 30 minutes and they last for upwards of eight hours. I have not tried a single other CBD that has that much lasting effect. And I love how they taste. I had only tried their neutral flavor before, which was still better than any other CBD I've tried because if I'm being honest, sometimes CBD can taste pretty terrible, but they just sent me two new flavors that they have. One is mint and the second is chocolate mint, which is so good. I could just take it because I love the taste, not even for the benefits that it offers. So I want to say a huge thank you to Premium Jane for sponsoring this video because their support enables me to make content like this. I feel like this probably goes without saying, but for me, one of the best ways that I can manage stress, anxiety, depression, or any other mental health issue is by spending time in nature. I know that if I'm at home and my chest is tight and I feel like I just can't shake this nervous, anxious energy, if I go for a walk with my Pop Pepsi in the forest, within about 20 minutes, I feel so much better. It's like, it's like when I get out into nature, I can breathe again and I just forget about anything that was causing me any kind of stress or anxiety in my life. There's just something about the vastness of nature, of just looking at the trees. It's so simple and uncomplicated and makes me feel so much at peace. And that's why I use nature as one of the primary ways of managing any kind of mental health issue that I'm dealing with. It can be a simple thing like watching the sun shine through the trees. That's what I'm looking at right now. It's so beautiful and I could just stare at it forever. Or I don't know, watching the sunset or just seeing the new sprouts on, on the plants and the trees in the spring, it's just all so beautiful. There's one daily practice that I have that I never expected to impact my mental health in any way. Last year I went through a really challenging time physically where I was forced to take medication for about six months and it resulted in a ton of like weight gain, swelling, inflammation, I was in a lot of pain. And as a way to take back control of the circumstance and to make myself feel better in my body physically, I started a 90 day fitness challenge where I am documenting my entire process of working out every Every single day for 90 days and though I definitely expected to feel physical benefit because obviously I'm working out every day and that's a new challenge for me I never anticipated the mental benefits that it would have as well and one thing that I've noticed is that when I'm working out if I feel any kind of anxiety or depression or just feel generally blah or down beforehand as soon as I start working out I feel so strong and powerful 
And I feel like when I'm lifting heavy weights or when I'm running or on the stair climber, I feel like I'm combating any issues that I have. It's definitely something I didn't expect, but it is a welcome benefit. And because I'm working out every single day, I feel the mental benefits of that every day. And I honestly love it. Food plays a huge role in how I feel, and I've been vegan for the past 12 years, so I've always had a diet that is primarily focused on plant-based foods. But ever since I opened up my diet to include more cooked foods, I just feel so much more freedom with my diet, especially in Denmark, where one of the primary crops is potatoes. And I have loved creating recipes and sharing them with my partner, which is something that I never really did before, but I found I love the experience of making a delicious, whole plant-based meal and eating it together and just enjoying the nourishment from that food is such an amazing feeling. My diet primarily focuses on fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds and grains and legumes. And the reason that's so important to me and how that relates back to anxiety and depression or mental health issues as a whole is that anxiety mostly starts in my stomach and I have no idea why that's the case. But if I'm eating a lot of heavy or processed or unhealthy foods, that will almost always cause indigestion for me. And what that means is that I can easily have anxiety in my stomach that could proceed to a full-blown panic attack, even if I have nothing in my life to feel anxious about. So focusing on whole foods and eating a vegan or plant-based diet is by far one of the best things I do for my anxiety. And last, but definitely not least, I have been spending more of my time on self-care. Prior to starting to make YouTube videos again, I was working a job that was so stressful. I was very overworked, so I almost never made time for self-care. So now that I've started pursuing YouTube videos again, I love the creative process. It does not feel like work to me, and I could easily justify working all the time and not spending any time on myself to relax or just reconnect. So I have been really trying to focus more on that. And one of the ways I started to focus on self-care is to sleep with a weighted blanket. Before using this, I was having trouble sleeping. I felt really jittery and anxious, and sleeping with a weighted blanket has been a complete game changer. It makes me feel so cocooned and protected and warm, and I just love it. I've also started to get into making my own hair and skincare products, which I found I really enjoy. I find it to be kind of a meditative experience to make my own products, and also it just makes me feel good to know exactly what's going into them. Aside from that, I just love listening to relaxing music, lighting a candle, watching a series on Netflix and just relaxing on the couch, cuddling with Pepsi and my partner, and just finding time to do nothing, which I really struggle with sometimes. I find that it can be really hard to do nothing, but I always feel so much better when I've just completely relaxed and let go. And one of my favorite things to relax is to take a bath. And we don't have a bath in our house, which I'm very, very sad about. So to improvise, I bought an inflatable bathtub that kind of looks ridiculous. And no shame at all, I take baths in this regularly and I love it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that if you find yourself in a dark or anxious place that some of these tips to nourish your mental health can help you just to feel healthy and happy and whole again. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps for me to have your feedback to know if you like it when I make types of content like this. And as always, you can subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. I'll have a new video coming for you guys every single week and I will see you next time.